Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of The Founder. I'm Tasha Sejal and I'm here with two lovely gentlemen, Sanjaya and Nimesha from The Sports Manager. How are you guys doing? Doing good, very good. Yeah. Awesome. Very well, How's everything been so far with you guys in lockdown and whatnot? Um, we've actually caught up a lot okay. uh, because we had to do a lot of research with the industry in Sri Lanka because it's not something which was there. That's true. So we had a lot of time to do the research part, you know, to go ahead. Awesome. So let's start from the top, okay? What are you guys all about? Where do you all come from? Give me the story. Um, so I am uh, I'm actually uh, from Colombo itself and I played basketball for the past 17 years. I played competitive basketball including uh, playing for the youth team in Sri Lanka. And um, that's basically how we were very passionate about sports. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nimesha himself is a cricketer. So he's currently playing for uh, for a club here uh, in in the Premier League. Mm -hmm. So basically, both of us are from uh, good sports backgrounds. Like even our parents and then our siblings. Are oh being wow! Into okay. Sports. So like that's how the idea came up. Okay. Yeah. And how did you all create this brand? And how long ago was it until you put it to action? Well. Actually, it was uh, about roughly about a year ago. Okay. So Sanjay was not here, he was in Australia, he was doing his studies and we had this call, a very interesting one, I would say, because we saw a bit of a gap in the market. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that's how anyone would start, but mm -hmm. we saw like for an athlete to really grow and reach their full potential, we thought they need to have a good environment around them. Mm -hmm. So I think the sports manager is all about creating that environment and, you know, helping them succeed so uh, what essentially what we do is we uh, manage athletes and we help them find brands to sponsor them and uh, you know get into overseas leagues and you know get into their full potential I would say okay okay yeah. and um, okay so why the sports manager how do you all come around with that uh, so basically why why we are very unique is that we concentrate on most of the sports that are, that has potential mm -hmm. like being athletes from a very small age we had the dreams dreams of like you know becoming professional like you know i wanted to become a professional basketball player go to the nba so i had that dream so with that we were thinking like what is the opportunities that they have over here for basketball so i wanted to get involved and you know create create a system where even basketball players like uh, track and field athletes and other sports also get the same opportunity mm -hmm. as some of the popular sports in Sri Lanka. So that is basically uh, the, the reason mm -hmm. why. And why we are unique is that uh, we have uh, uh, athletes of like various, various sports. Okay. Including, uh, currently we are managing five athletes, including a track and field athlete, two basketball players and one triathlete. Okay. So, uh, we have we are concentrating more on the wider wider amount of sports which are not being recognized in Sri Lanka, which also has a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. Like if you take these athletes who are with us right now, they've had dreams of you know becoming uh, the best or like becoming the most uh, the number one player in Sri Lanka. So we want to bring them to that stage. Right. So that is why we are very unique and also the connections and the network that we have worldwide mm -hmm. is very massive. Like okay. uh, from going into different leagues and um, in the future probably, you know, having our own uh, high performance mm -hmm. or maybe uh, having more academies come to Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. So that is like a uh, goal why and why we are unique in that way. Okay. So how did the process start like from getting your first client? and to laying down the foundation to letting people know about y'all? Well, actually, uh, it's not something that is here in Sri Lanka at the moment. Okay. So it was quite a challenge, to be honest. But uh, I mean, we always knew what we wanted to do in terms of like how the business would want to go and how, it wo how we would want to help these athletes. So uh, the process, I would say, we just got together and we just thought like, okay, let's do this, let's do this. What if we do this? It was a lot of trial and error, I would say. And then uh, I think there's an amazing team who works with us right now. So, I mean, all credit should go to all of this, um, the whole team, I would say, and yeah. also the athletes who have kept their trust on us. So when we started, uh, 
I think Sanjay, we we had a bit of a plan. Yeah, we we, But, we had a plan of yeah. you know what are the sports that we are getting into okay. and what are the sports that we actually can accommodate at the beginning. Like okay. say, yeah. uh, being cricketer, a cricketer and a basketball player, we both knew the subject really well. And I have been also and I have been also into athletics, mm-hmm. so I had a bit of a knowledge about what athletics is. And Sri Lanka is a very popular sport when it comes to athletics. in south asia in asia we won a lot of medals for sri lanka sure. so basically we had the idea who am we going to target first okay and then after that to move on to the sports that are not being touched yet okay so moving forward from there after you've targeted your athlete yeah. what do you do for them uh so we basically help them with uh, getting brand endorsements so we do all sort of things for them like you know including their pr and then uh, when it comes to brand endorsements we speak to a lot of brands we ask them for their help to you know help these athletes and one of the other things that we are looking at is you know these athletes are champion athletes mm-hmm. so we have to make sure that they build that mindset to become a champion so we have a training where we give them like when it comes to mental performances how are you going oh, to amazing. manage yeah. so your social media how are you going to become a personal brand on social media right. all that training is be, being given by us okay so where we get most of the experts from overseas uh they they are on board with us like a uh, few weeks back we had a session with uh, a mental performance coach oh that's amazing uh, it's from, very important as yes, well yes. yeah I so feel. i think mindset is the most important thing when it comes to a sportsman If you set your mind into something that you want to become the greatest, I think there is potential for anyone. Right. So just to add to that, I think in this age, like athletes are put on the spotlight from the very moment they walk mm. in, and once they're big, when once they're in the big stage, it's very important to know, you know, how to deal with this setback, especially right. like it won't be a long and easy road for any of them. So, I mean, to make them understand, to help them understand at a very young level, young age. of how to deal with these things is something that we are very passionate about too. And that's amazing. And yeah. what's a marketing strategy you guys rely on? Um marketing strategies actually we we quite use a lot of marketing strategies when it comes to uh marketing. Um basically mostly what we do is like uh being on interviews like this we tell them tell people about who we are and also we have a very supportive group of people who actually connect us to different brands like you know uh from our parents to their friends their families uh they they support us a lot so i think in that way we've not really gone into like a very uh, mm-hmm. mass marketing method but we basically concentrated on social media okay. how we are going to market ourselves and it's been a good response like you know a lot of people talk about us and within like say 4 to 5 months we've got like a lot of engagement on oh, social wow. media we got about 800 to 900 followers within 4 months amazing so amazing that is that is quite a big achievement for us when it comes to marketing we've not done like you know spending a lot of lot of money on marketing we've not that, done that okay. much because of the situation also okay so i think in that way i would say that marketing is something that eventually had come to us we've not made like a big effort to you know market ourselves out there true okay so obviously when it comes to make having your own startup there are difficulties that come along with it and one of the things might be financing was financing any difficult for you or have you approached any banks in that manner financing at the beginning it was it was yeah. definitely hard i mean it's always a challenge especially given the circumstances right now so uh, how we started is by putting a very small amount between ourselves and then i mean luckily it's not as much as we need mm-hmm. at the moment but eventually when we grow when we expand into certain areas i'm pretty sure we will need a lot so but right now we haven't contacted any banks or there's nothing of that sort has happened yet but uh, it's been a challenge it's been a challenge i wouldn't uh, say no but i think we've been able to get through get through all these challenges since it's been a very service oriented uh, business i think uh, our quality has been the most uh, thing that matters for us yeah. so, so whoever like you know we speak to we make sure that there is quality 
so in that way the return that we get is something very uh, you know it's a lot of exposure and also we, we we haven't really like you know like he said we haven't put much of money into our business yet mm-hmm. but the return that we've got for what we the, the small amount that right. we've given it's a lot it's a lot yeah the quality over yeah. everything else mm-hmm. and you know speaking of challenges obviously any startup goes through countless amounts of challenges sure. was there ever a point in your career building this brand where you had to make a difficult decision um i th- I think so, yeah, because I think uh, for me, I play a sport here, but Sanjay has like sacrificed what he oh. wanted to do and he's like full time, he's involved with the athletes, with brands and everything. So I think that's a tough decision like we've had to make as a company and he has to make personally as well. So I mean, it's not guaranteed like success or anything is not guaranteed. but. I think what we are chasing here really is fulfillment. Mm-hmm. Like how we can be better people at the end of the day. Like, I mean, end of the day, you, you can look in your eye and you can say, okay, we actually tried and we're, we're happy. Mm-hmm. So I think that's what we've been chasing all along and like building, um, I think, good relationships with people. So that's what the focus has been. And yeah. that's, that's, that's actually a big challenge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I'm, I'm actually a graduate in business and okay. I majored in tourism and hospitality. But with the situation, you know, mm-hmm. I had to, you know, I had to shift my career yeah. into something that I like. So it's I like everyone's money. going into Plan B right sure. now. Yeah, so it's I awesome. got certified as a sports agent now. So I have that, you know, certificate to show it to anyone. Absolutely, that, you yeah. Know, I I am professional in what I do. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of a sacrifice that I've done. Like, I mean, uh, for the greater good. Yeah, for, it's, the, greater it's good. for the greater good, yes. definitely. And you have to make those kind of sacrifices. You know, if you're working on your own startup, absolutely, and yeah. and you can't expect a lot in return at the beginning, but you mm-hmm. have to always think about the long run. Do you think uh, if it wasn't for this pandemic, this wouldn't have existed? Not at all. I think. Oh, was it? <laughs> I don't think so. No. Oh wow. Okay. It's, it's actually no, a very amazing. Okay. Weird story where when I was in Australia during lockdown, I I kind of lost my job. So I contacted him because he's actually a CrossFit level one coach. Oh wow! So I called him and I said, "Imesha, uh, I want to, you know, follow a program and I want to lose some weight." So <laughs> while while having a chat, I told him, "Look, I have this idea. What do you think about it?" Then he was like, "I I want to do the same thing." And then I said, oh, okay, wow, "Okay, I'm definitely going to come down and yeah. you know start this off with you." Okay. It's funny enough because yeah. about a year ago. I was having this chat with my uh, coach at the gym at CrossFit Salon. So he 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 studied at the IMG Academy in the uh, United States. So he knows in in and out in all and about the okay. process and like how young athletes are being sponsored and all this you know nitty gritty things. Okay. So he was doing like you know like model sub agencies here in Sri Lanka, but like athletes they they don't really have a support system. I mean, if you're lucky, if you get into a certain level. Yeah, you'll have brands sponsoring you, but how are you going to get there? How can we support? So, I mean, I've had the chat before, and then it never really occurred because I was busy playing and training. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Lots of things, and then when Sanjay said this, I was like, okay, maybe this is a call. So, <laughs> yeah, it was a huge paradigm shift also for us. Like, yeah. I mean, it's not. I mean, it was definitely out of our comfort zones. Like, we have to have sacrifices also, but I'm, I'm glad we did it. So now uh, you guys are quite driven, I should say, with the little time that we've had, and uh, you know I'm really excited to see where y'all are going. Uh, at the same time, I would like to know what your definition of success is. Each of you probably have a different answer. I'm assuming. <laughs> For me, success is about fulfillment. Mm-hmm. Honestly, like uh, if you like what you're doing, if you're putting in the time, the effort, and I mean it doesn't really matter. Like. Uh, what you, what other people expect you to do it's about chasing fulfillment for me mm-hmm. so that's the definition of success and doing it with a whole heart like mm-hmm. doing all in sanjay uh actually for me success is uh, i i've gone through a lot of failures in my life so success has come because of the hard work that i put in and also i would say success is a very you can you can't achieve success in a very short time true sure. and it's a long process you have to go through like you know many failures like you've seen a lot of entrepreneurs in the world has gone through a lot of failures when it comes to uh, being a su- successful one so i would say 
don't ever fail like you know you don't ever take failure as like a uh, a demotivation mm-hmm. take it as a motivation for you to be successful one day mm-hmm. all right awesome guys uh, is there any way that uh, people watching can contact you all to be a part of your all's team or even you know be uh, managed by all as well yeah uh, so we actually have our instagram and facebook which is uh, going the name goes as the sports manager and uh, we are actually working on our website right now to launch uh, at the in the next month where we are, we are going to be one year for next month so our website will be there soon mm-hmm. and you can always you know uh, talk to us on instagram or facebook uh, one of us will definitely uh, reply anyone who's approaching us and i mean there is no barriers like you know to be scared to talk to us because we are also still like you know in a very young age yeah. and we are approachable so i would say to anyone who is watching if you want to approach us you know just message us on our uh, social media that's true i mean these guys are so nice <laughs> and thank i you. loved your story and your background and everything so thank you so much for coming on board and uh, talking to me and spreading your message thank you very much yeah, for having thank you us. yeah thank you very much to daily mirror and to you for having us on this program and this is something that we have actually look forward to being here and um, i would say thank you to everyone who's a part of this uh, production team good luck and also congratulations thank you thank you dash thank you